Hi, and welcome back to the course. In this section, we will add the functionality to our front end and make the pages working. So, there are a couple of things we will learn in this section. We will finally connect to our API and fetch the data. We will add authentication to our front end, so the user must log in in order to view artists, songs, or albums. We will add authentication to our front end, so the user must log in in order to view artists, songs, or albums. Next, we will create proxies to make it easier to communicate with the API. We will also create transformers to transform the data from the API and make sure it is usable. Last but not least, we will create models for artist, album and song. And we can define computed properties for each item there. In this video, we will connect to our API and set up Axios. So in this video, we will make a connection with our API and we will create a couple more environment variables for the authentication. Next, we will set up Axios and perform an AJAX request to see if our setup is working. Right, now open your editor of choice and make sure the development server is running. And also make sure the vagrant box is up and running. And you can do this by going into the API directory and typing vagrant. But I've already booted my vagrant box so it's no need to run this again. Now let's go into the config directory and open the dev.env.js file. And let's add the following environment variable. We want to add the API client ID and the API client secret. And let's also create this for the production right here. Okay. And do you remember when we initialized Laravel Passport that the console showed us an ID, a number and a secret? Well, we're going to need that ID and secret. And if you do not know the ID and secret again, we can generate a new client. And we can do this by typing PHP artisan. By the way, go into the API directory, not in the front end directory because this won't work here. Artisan password client with the password flag. It will show a name for the grant client and this is OK. Press enter and here we go. So we get an ID of three and a client secret like this. Now let's save it. And by the way, I noticed an, a bug what we uh, initialize the Axios instance. This should be a capital A instead of a smaller A and I've searching 15 minutes for this bug and found it recently. So yeah, replace the smaller A with the capital A. Okay, cool. Now go into the Atlas view file and create the mounted method to check if our Axios instance is working correctly. Now type this dot dollar sign http dot get and we want to get the albums and once that's done i'm going to say data and just for now let's console.log the data and also we can do this dot dollar sign http because in the bootstrap file we bind the axios instance to the view prototype now save the file go to the browser Inspect elements and see what will change. To refresh, see if it's working now. Oh boy, come on. Made a typo mounted instead of mounted. Give it a refresh. And well, that does not seem correct. We get a 401 unauthorized, meaning that we need to authenticate the user in order to make this request. And that's exactly what we're going to do in the next video. And now that we have Axios working, we can use it to perform AJAX requests.